Hey, how you doing guys? Uh, have an update uh, to an old video, uh, an, an old problem I used to have as well. And uh, this is, uh, I'm on my uh, Mac Pro uh, 4.1 2009 early edition. And uh, I had trouble installing High Sierra. Now it does use the uh, Netkiss firmware patch that changes it from 4.1 to 5.1, allowing uh, to install High Sierra. Now the reason being is because uh, I was trying to uh, when I tried to upgrade it I tried to use a time machine backup to install all my apps uh, security keys and things like that um, and that's what caused it once I installed it it'd simply reboot over and over again so um, I didn't install it that way I just let it uh, install High Sierra only uh, I erased the hard drive and it works really well. I'm surprised how good it works um, because uh, I use a uh, Mac edition, uh, I believe it's an AMD, oh geez, what is that uh, number again? Uh, AMD Radeon HD 5950, I believe. Um, and it's the latest uh, one that'll work in... Uh, uh, the older Mac, uh, Cheese Grater Mac Pros. And uh, it used to always run a high fan speed all the time. Not all the time, but I'll, uh, I'd say at least uh, 80% or maybe 65% of the time. And it was always uh, winding up and down. Um, now with this High Sierra, it really runs well. Uh, really like a scalded dog on this thing. So I s installed everything from scratch, erased the hard disk uh, did a clean install and it works fabulously and as you can see here um, it shows uh, Mac Pro early uh, 2009 edition right there just to show you in High Sierra now I stumble I also stumbled on this as well is uh, if you're looking for an easier way to do this um, uh, try out this is from dosdude1.com uh, in the high sierra tab and uh, i'll link it in the uh, comment section but they have a really slick way you can install it on unsupported macs and it shows you the requirements um, the ones that'll work on which ones it won't work on and things that uh, certain wi-fi chips may or may not work so it gives you that information as well and uh, and what's really cool is um, normally you could you you can also download the uh, Mac OS High Sierra using this uh, installer, and it actually puts you uh, puts in all the patch files uh, to firmware updates to allow you to do this. And uh, let me cycle down here to show you, which is kind of like right here. I guess this is the pre-install. Now you have to have SIP uh, disabled, but here you can see um, MacBook Pro 4.1 and it, you simply select what Mac you have and it'll check mark all the applicable patches to uh, get it to work. Now this is untested since mine is already working and I use the Net, Netkiss patch to go from a 4.1 Mac Pro to a 5.1, but this looks really cool. And uh, it's worth a ch uh, check out. Plus, they also have a YouTube video as well um, that allows, uh, it shows how you can install it as well that way. And uh, I kind of do have it downloaded, but considering I already um, have it installed already, uh, I, like I said, it is untested. Uh, give it a try out if you want to try this. Uh, and as you can see, it's natively supported, and you can uh, really do a lot with this. Like I said, I'm not going to really start that uh, to show you. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to give you a quick update on everything. I'm on my uh, finally getting uh, High Sierra on my uh, um, early 2009 Mac Pro, which uh, with the firmware up update um, now. I don't know if this patcher, High Sierra, uh, Sierra patcher, will do the same as the Netkiss firmware updater. Because if you use the Netkiss version, 
It will allow you to upgrade to newer CPUs, I believe faster memory and a couple other uh, additions. You can upgrade your uh, Mac Pro. Now, I don't know if this does that or not. So if you want to upgrade some of the components, you might want to go with the, with the uh, NetKiss um, firmware update. Thanks for watching and see you guys later.